Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we have talked about SC300 certification process and the skills required uh, for that certification in order to clear that. And uh, we also discussed about the demo, how the certification process be, and uh, also like various type of questions that can uh, arrive in the examination as well. So coming to this video, we'll be going through the labs, coming to the first lab that uh, we'll be performing here, we'll be managing user roles. So we'll be creating a an user and uh, we'll be testing that in privileges, whether we were able to do that or not. For that, we have to go to Active Directory, as you can see here, Azure Active Directory. So click that. So basically, why we are going to Azure Active Directory? So basically, that provides an administrator with the ability to manage end user identities and access privileges. That is the reason we are going to Azure Active Directory and uh, do these operations and if you see right now we are in azure active directory so basically this azure active directory is for managing the cloud applications whereas if we talk about normal azure active directory uh, sorry normal uh, active directory it's uh, managing the on-premises infrastructure so that is like a normal difference between these two so here you can see now we have to create a user so in the left side panel you can see under the manage, there is a section called users. So click that. And right now we have different users here. So let me create a new user. So let's create a new user. And you have various options like create new user or invite an external user. So using uh, this one, you can uh, invite the people who are apart from the organization but uh, for this video we'll just create a new user so let's create it and uh, so as you can see the username according to the docs it's actually chris g chris green so i'll be proceeding with uh, his name is and uh, the name you can give the same one which uh, shows here Chris Green and make sure you copy this and let me have a notepad in which I'll just save this guy's username and once this is done so you can add the other as well the first name last name if you want to because this is an optional here as you can see there is no uh, you know uh, the red star so it's it's not required but it uh, depends on you so coming to the initial password I'm just leaving here so this the automatic uh, password that we have got but you can uh, enter a secure password here however when we try to log in we have to change the password so I'm just leaving this one so I'm just copying the password or if you want to create a new password you can create a secure password if you want so for this you have to just click let me create a password and uh, you have to write your password that you want so once this is done you have to create it since I'm getting error because there is no password so this is the password I have copied it successfully and uh, you can add this person to a certain groups or give a certain roles here but uh, right now I'm not giving it we'll be doing it in the further videos and uh, you can give the job information job roles and the department that uh, this particular uh, person is belongs to so I think uh, this should be fine and let's go ahead and create so it's not yet updated let's wait for that so once it is updated uh, let's go ahead and log in with that uh, user credentials so if I refresh it you can see it has been created now let's go to an incognito mode and let's try to log in uh, with this user credential so sure and in this case we'll be using uh, ID of the user that we have just now created 
so this is the one and this is the domain name that offers uh, Azure portal let's click next and the password uh, that we have copied in the notepad so let me copy that and paste it done so as you can see we need to update the password here so let me write some password here so i'm just typing in my notepad and i'll just paste that here new password new password and coming to my auto generated password it should be in the current password and once this is done make sure you sign in so here you have an option help us protect so you can uh, skip it for 14 days or use another account so these are different options that we have here but let's go to the next and let's try to set up so you can see we have to have the microsoft authenticator so let me open my phone and uh, let me open my authenticator app so let's go next and uh, let's go to the next so this is the QR code uh, for uh, the authenticator so if you open the authenticator on the right side you will be having the three buttons which is hamburger button you have to click that and uh, once you click that there is an option called add account so you have to click that and then you'll be having an option called personal account work or school account or other account so in this case i'll be going with the personal account so click the personal account in your phone and you'll be having two different options so one is sign in with the microsoft and the second one will be sign in with the qr code so since we are having the qr code you'll be proceeding with the scan with QR code so I have clicked that so I'm just uh, telling you because I'm not showing my phone here so these are the options that I have and uh, I have just scanned my QR code so there's a default directory which has been uh, created in my authenticator and if I click that so every time for every uh, one minute there will be a passcode generated so I have to click that in order to log in to my account so let me go next because I already scanned it and uh, I have the code for that so uh, right now it's going to Microsoft Authenticator I believe I'll be ha I'll be getting uh, a notification where I have to accept it but not sure I have not yet got any notification though So right now I have just got the notification which says approve sign in uh, this particular user which is Chris. So right now if I deny that it, it, it doesn't go further. So let's try to deny it and see what happens. So I'm denying it. So you can see when I try to deny that we sent an uh, ident identity verification request to your mobile device but you denied it. Please choose recent notification to try again. So this is how it will be if you, for example, let's say there is another guy who is trying to log in and you can directly deny it using your authenticator. So let's try to resend the notification and uh, now we'll accept it. So again, I got a notification says deny or approve. So I'll be approving it right now. So there is a authentication process which is going through right now while it's done. So you can see the notification has been approved and you can go to the next stage and you can keep it done. Well, I would say yes. So once this is done right now, uh, we are in the Azure portal of one of our user, which is Chris. So if I go here, let's search for uh, enterprise applications. So we have uh, two enterprise applications here. So let's create a new application. 
and if you see here we don't have an option of creating our own application you see so we have like we don't have the privilege uh, to create an enterprise application or you can go to the application proxies So you can see we don't have access here because we just created the user but uh, there is no role assigned to that so if we go to just uh, see the diagram I have created a user called Chris but he don't have any admin privileges so let's say there is a group let's say there is a group called admin Sorry for the bad handwriting though. So we have group called admin. Let's say there is a person called Ravi and he has, he's in this group. So basically he can perform the operations that we have seen like create a new application and so on. But if you talk about Chris, he's not there in the group. So we just created that user. So there is two methods that we can uh, give the permissions to this Chris. So one thing we can include this person into this admin group so that he can do that privilege activities or else we can simply give uh, add role so there is a section called add role and we can give the permissions to chris so these are two methods that we can use in order to give the chris the credentials so coming to the next task we'll be assigning the application role uh, to this particular user and he'll be able to create the application for which right now uh, you know it's showing denied so as you can see we don't have access to whatever we go like we don't have access so in the next video we'll be giving him admin privileges and perform the following activities so i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video if you like the video please click the like button below and if you're not a subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and i'll be keeping the relevant videos in the description do watch them and thank you everyone